today is one with mixed emotions or mixed feelings, with celebration and grief. Ukraine's Independence Day is usually one for celebration. But this year, due to the ongoing Russian invasion, it's a much more somber tone. Here in Canada, the Ukrainian community coming together to support one another and the war effort. On this day in 1991, Ukraine gained its independence after 70 years of Soviet control. But fast forward 31 years, Ukraine is once again fighting for independence. This year takes on a, an even greater significance and meaning for, for the Ukrainian people and for Ukrainians all over the world and for all, all friends of Ukraine. Ukrainians all across the country are finding ways to mark the day. In Winnipeg, dozens gathered at City Hall to raise the Ukrainian flag and sing the Ukrainian national anthem. We're proud of our culture. We want to showcase that. We want to be uh, to show people that we're part of, of Canadian society as well. So there's a lot of different things that are coming to, into play and a lot of different emotions that uh, that are uh, that, that one wakes up to in the morning. Nadia Baranova is from occupied Kherson in Ukraine and came to Canada in May. She says it's really humbling to see Ukrainians celebrate their country all around the world. I hope that together we will overcome this war and we will live in freedom, in peace, in prosperous country, in peaceful country and in happiness. Manitoba has committed efforts to bringing displaced Ukrainians like Baranova to Canada. To date, over 3,500 refugees have arrived in the province, but Nick Kravets, who has been an integral part to the settlement process, Process, anticipates many more are coming in the fall and winter months. There's 12 million people that are displaced right now and over 500,000 of these people have applied to come to Canada and only 70,000 have made it so far and we're six months in. Kravat says he's never been more proud to be a Ukrainian. It's not some distant thing, uh, you know, or uh, my family is living it. My in-laws are displaced. My nephew is displaced. Um, he might be starting school next month in Kiev. I don't want him to be, uh, you know, hit by some missile. Um, so I, I find it, it's incredibly difficult, but I just hope that Ukraine will survive this. It will survive it, but they need our assistance and our support. And that's why I'm doing everything I can to, to help. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpacity News.